Gender pay gap doesn't exist. Women just choose lower paying jobs. What about women that always say like, women don't get paid as much as men? Yeah. I always hear that. How do you respond to that? It drives me insane. It I'm sorry you're so exhausted to, to be paid to go on air. In I'm not paid. About- women in this country still make 77 cents on the dollar for what men make. So if uh, women don't make less than men. Do you want to be an independent woman? Independent as if in I have to pay my own bill at the restaurant or gender pay gap doesn't exist. Women just choose lower paying jobs. Welcome to the will say I can disprove in just under a minute. So you often hear people say that women earn less because they choose lower paying professions like teaching or nursing. And while it's true that on average these jobs are lower paid today, That wasn't always the case. Before women were allowed to have jobs that require qualifications, it was men who occupied all of the professions we considered as feminine today. For instance, nurses used to be exclusively male. But then as women started to move into these occupations, they began paying less. And that's also confirmed by the largest study on this topic to date, done by Paula England. In some professions, wages declined as much as 57 percentage points when they went from being predominantly male to female. In some others, they declined by 34 or 21. So no, women don't choose lower paying jobs. Jobs become lower paid when women take over a previously male dominated field. Look, there's different ways to look at the data, but the big picture here is women do earn less in America because they choose to. They would rather go to their daughter's piano recital than stay all night at work working on a, a, a you know, proposal. What? So they end up earning less. They're less ambitious. And I think this is sort of God's way. This is nature's way of saying women should be at home with the kids. Are They're you, happier there. I, I hope that your viewers do not take you sir seriously there's a great book you should read it's called why men earn more and it's all about women choosing to put family over work and that's why they earn less having a choice does not mean that you're less ambitious and your comments are absolutely deplorable sean i would like you ambitious in the world i would like like you to address this you're you're a father you have a daughter if you were a real feminist you would support housewives and see them as the heroes and women who work wasting their time you said that women are less ambitious women are less ambitious you have also said that women are better suited in the home. Yes, You've that's also a fact. said that, uh, let's see, that women are emotional and women shouldn't run for public office. <laughs> All of these things that just I never said absolutely... women shouldn't run for yes, public office. Yes, you have. You've said that If we're that talking before. about 50% of the population, generally out of this 250 million people or, or 150 million people, most women are happier at home. They are pretending that they like working <laughs> and they're not making money because they don't stay all night at the office. They don't go the extra mile. Why they don't work all here? weekend. I'm You're making a mistake. Here? You would be much happier at home with a husband and children. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, I mean, boy. I'm I'm literally. Oh. You just said you're single. Oh. You don't have a boyfriend. You what? That's you're my celibate? choice. Yeah. What makes it crazier is the fact that she doesn't have a boyfriend. He's trying to prove a point. He, he's arguing and he's arguing about her like, oh yeah, if you had a boyfriend or if you had home, and she has admitted that she doesn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so let's watch this next one where a woman realizes that uh, she's not being paid for the interview. Yeah. I'm sorry you're so exhausted to, to be paid to go on air. In I'm not paid! About- that is the moment that that woman realizes that that man has been paid £200 to go on TV and debate her and she has not been paid anything to debate him. And the entire debate was sparked by the Lawrence Fox incident, which was sparked by an argument over the gender pay gap. And he's like so adamant that she'll have been paid. He's just like... Oh, I'm so sorry that you're so exhausted being paid to come on TV and debate people. And she's like, I'm not being paid. Are you being paid? I have never seen the foundations of a debate justify the need for the debate in that way. On, please go and watch that entire video. It's just ridiculous. So I'll play the video she's talking about. But is it uh, the man's fault that she wasn't getting paid? I know women like to argue and feminists like to argue that they don't get paid a lot of money. But for most part, it's because they don't take on jobs that will pay more money. You know, they don't want to take up those jobs that will pay more money. So, (laughs) let's watch, guys. Lawrence Fox and what Lawrence Fox felt enabled to say is because of a much wider picture. And it's it's tiring to me. It's so tiring to me as a woman to come on here. I'm sorry you're so exhausted to, to be paid to go on air. In I'm not paid. I'm not being paid for this interview. I came on because I wanted to talk about the problem of misogyny and the degradation of women in public life. 
Well, Are you that's getting paid for this? Thinking. I'm not getting paid for this. Are you getting this paid is for what, this? this- that was the moment I realised that the man who was invited onto Sky News to say that misogyny didn't exist was getting paid for the interview when I wasn't. Now, not only did it transpire Connor was getting paid and I wasn't, but I was initially offered a compensatory fee of £75, the standard for interview like that. However, after an apology from Sky, this was up to £200. Why? Because it turned out Connor had bagged a £200 fee for that 10-minute chat. Just think about that for a minute. I think about it and what I see is that man asks that, okay, I be paid this much for me to talk to a feminist woman or if she's not a feminist to talk to this woman and argue about this, I should be paid 200 She didn't do that. She didn't even ask for one pound. In the end, she's trying to make it like, oh, Men are paid more. No, 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 no. <laughs> Man gets paid £200 to deny that structural misogyny exists. Woman gets paid nothing. Meanwhile, the Lawrence Fox GB news clip that sparked this all was Fox denying the gender pay gap exists. This really does write itself. No, it exists because you decided not to get paid. That proves the point. You've just proven the point that you didn't ask for money to do that interview. You are willing to do it for free. You are willing to talk about a topic for a paid interview for free. Man asked for money to be paid. Who knows? Maybe it was even asked for 500 pounds to just talk to you. And then they're like, oh, no, no, no. This is what we are offering you. Take it or leave it. And man decided, oh, you know what? It's just 10 minutes of my time. I'm going to take it. And you thought, oh, I'm arguing with the man. I'm not going to ask for anything. Do you want to be an independent woman? Independent as if in I have to pay my own bill at the restaurant or as if in I do whatever the hell I want. How about paying some bills? <laughs> I'd rather chew my left toe off. Who should pay on the first date, a man or a woman? Man. And why is it? Because he's a man. A lot of women are feminists today. And expect I am not a feminist. I will, I am not a feminist. Ooh. We know you're not a feminist. When it comes to paying bills, yes, we know you're going to say that. <laughs> you're only a feminist when it comes to getting paid. Yeah. What about women that always say, like, women don't get paid as much as men? Yeah. I always hear that. How do you respond to that? It drives me insane. It, it drives me is insane. Is that a fact? But that's true, it, no? It is not true when they do the same jobs as men. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you want to work at Vogue and pick out pretty bags for a photo shoot, but you don't get paid as much as an engineer. Men and women have different interests. We are biologically different. When I was in school, every single girl that I was friends with was majoring in either comms or TMD fashion, right? The truth is, is that if you go into a career and you want to be a buyer for Macy's and men are, you know, taking business classes and want to go be CEOs of hedge funds, they're going to make more money. We have different interests. And our, there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Like, I, men and women are not the same. We are biologically different. We have biological predispositions. The idea that women should want to climb the top of a ladder and, you know, go into corporate America and be there forever. Women want to have kids, right? So there's another reason that they're not making as much money as men is because a lot of women want to stay home with their children, which is an admirable goal, which feminism tries to wipe away. Like, oh, if you want to stay at home, something that women say to me all the time, why don't you make your husband a sandwich? Okay. Is he hungry? Does he want a sandwich? <laughs> like, he, he, Did he say something? I make my oh. husband food the last four nights. I made my husband dinner. Like, I don't understand this weird maker. Like, they, they're trying to shame women for taking care of their families. Like, that is another element of feminism that I cannot stand. There's, It's an attack on family and these things that work. It, it works. Right. Men are biologically unable to have children. So the aspiration to climb a ladder forever, to wake up every single day and and not have to worry about being pregnant for nine months, I mean, that makes sense. We're, we're different creatures, you know? So, you know, like what she said, if men are doing the same job as women or women are doing the same job as men, they are not paid less. Imagine, it's like advertising for a job, you say. Uh, we need a general manager for for for, uh, for this company. And then you say, uh, for a man, we're going to pay this much. For a woman, we're going to reduce the salary from this much to this because she's a woman. <laughs> that doesn't happen. So women are paid less because... Um, 
they go for jobs that don't pay so much. The ones that are making so much money, they've gone for those careers where or fields where people get paid more. Women in this country still make 77 cents on the dollar for what men make. So if exactly. women don't make less than men? Actually, if you start looking at the numbers, Rachel, uh, there are lots of reasons for that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, wait. Well, Don't tell me the reasons wouldn't... are. Do women make less than men for doing actually, the same work? Uh, the no, same work. because... Wow! Well, okay. Okay. well, okay. well for example, men work, men work an average of 44 hours a week. Women work 41 hours a week. Men go into professions like engineering, science, and math that earn more. Women want more flexible Listen, this is not a math is hard No, no, no. no. Yes, it is, actually. No, it isn't. Well, no, listen. Look... All right, let Rachel frame, frame it, though, the but way Rachel, right you now, laid it out. Right now, women are making 77 cents on the dollar for, but, that, for, for what men are making. But that's not true. If so, every greedy businessman in America would hire only women save 25 percent and i love how passionate you are i wish you were as right as, about what you're saying as you are passionate about it i really do That's for really example kind of... may i share one fact with you when share. you look at for example single women in working in america today between the ages of i think 40 and 64 who makes more men or women on average men make 40,000 a year women make 47 when you take out the marriage factor look at some economics my point here is that we're manufacturing a political crisis